Hey, want to laugh? This is a show about two friends who navigate the comedy scene together. Completely non-sexual, of course. And they're going to watch a couple videos and make you giggle. This is the Bryson Sci-Fi Show. I don't Bryce know. Can and you do sci-fi. it? Sci-Fi. <laughs> Bryson Sci-Fi. What? Uh, Bryce and, and Sci-Fi. He's Bryce and Sci-Fi. Hey. He's Bryce. I'm Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi. Don't worry about that guy. Hey. It's Bryce and Sci-Fi. What? Mm. Price and Safa, episode three. Episode three. What up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Bryce and Safa. We did it. We did it <laughs> for the third time. Third time's a charm. Let's see if this episode gets better. Uh, one, <laughs> I just want to talk about last last week's or last episode. I um, it was some comments going. It was some comments. There was, some bro. Of the shorts I've heard a lot about last episode. Yeah, it was. Uh, we're gay. Good and bad, but both were gay comments, we're for sure. Gay. Some people were upset, some people were very happy, but yeah. I got a lot of happy. People people thought it was great. I got a lot of mad. No, I'm just kidding. You got a lot of mad? Very angry. It was his family. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you're gay, but he's got to be black, too. Yeah. <laughs> Steps, Bryce. Steps. It can't be both. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're doing it. We got JJ in the booth today. Shout out. Hey, guys. <laughs> he does a 90s. You did an impersonation of a 90s black comedian doing an impersonation of a white guy. True, true, oh, true. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't have rhythm. Ugh. Oh, Mr. Officer. Uh, <laughs> black people He's over me. there. Get him. <laughs> they introed me so nice, and now they're just being so mean, dude. <laughs> We're being nice, dude. This is how we introduce people yeah. on our show. Um, Sweet. Uh, Dom, are you on camera, or are you just chilling? You okay. just chilling? Okay, no, no, that's good. Cool, that's cool. Good. Don't touch Voice the Voice of Dom. Don't worry about talking. <laughs> <I'm> talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Dom, a.k.a. Dom Segura, CEO of Clown College. The CEO, College. the Comedy only guy that matters in the Clown studios. College. <laughs> the, leader of, the leader of the two. I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah, he definitely takes up the most space, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> You've seen him on Kill Tony. You've also Ooh. seen him doing extra work on Zero Dark Thirty as Osama bin Laden's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Osama bin Laden. His cool cousin, though, bro. Nah. I think Dom's cool, man. I wish he had a camera on you, though. He's, he is cool. No, I don't. We need, we need a right. camera from every angle. I don't want to see him. <laughs> I don't want to see him, and it's I have to, so I don't want them to see him. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Um... <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen you in a minute, bro. You have not. I've been uh, I've been taking a break. I have not come out and done comedy in two to three weeks. I forgot whatever the number is. That's a lot, man. Yeah. What uh, you been doing? Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Every time people Nobody say, has asked. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody's asked once. I was like, where's this motherfucker at? <laughs> I went to shenanigans, and, somebody, and I told somebody, I was like, yeah, I haven't gone up in like two, three weeks. And they were like, are you okay? Oh, well, that's so. so yeah. That's why I was like, oh, maybe me saying I don't <laughs> leave my like I haven't left the house. I haven't yeah. been doing anything. I've been living real cave. He had a gay home. podcast and that ruined yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, I had one gay. Then episode, he went to shenanigans and they left support. my apartment again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, then I went to shenanigans. Yeah. They're like, well, this is all making sense now. <laughs> I am on the board. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, board member. Ow, not on the board. Period. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put me on the board, dude. Why not? Look at me, man. That is true. Look you don't have a mullet anymore, dude. No, I've been freed from that. You look yeah. like you have a Rolodex in your brain of every racial slur. RSDB.com, racial slur database. I, no, he's not lying. That is... Uh, me, I had a... <laughs> I was about to say, I had an Asian friend. I have an Asian friend. We used to get really into just calling each other... Like not just slurs, but the ones that like <laughs> the ones that make you go, What? You know what I'm saying? Like what are you talking no, about? No, give me an example. Give me three examples. <laughs> All right, three examples. I found out so sometimes white people call uh they'll call some white dudes uh oil driller. <laughs> that means he a white dude that has sex with like uh black women. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, and then for the reverse, if you're a white woman who has sex with a black man, they call you a coal burner. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Cole Burner. <laughs> You've heard of that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's heard of that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is it all fossil fuels? Man? <laughs> <laughs> they saw There Will Be Blood one time. <laughs> and they just been all on the fossil fuels. Uh, that's Okay, this is this is not a third one, but this is my uh, 
This is my, uh, what's, what's it called? Like a special, it didn't make the list. Honorary. Honorary racial slur? Yeah, this is an honorary okay. racial slur, even though it's not a racial slur. I, uh, it sounds like a racial slur. Racial slur. Poonjab <laughs> sounds like a racial slur. It's I think not. it might be. It's not. Dom? <laughs> <laughs> you can fit so many of these stereotypes. Damn. If it is a racial slur, it's in, that's insane because I saw it on a building. Like somebody painted, oh, like, really? not like spray painted it on the building, but it was like in a building <laughs> with an X over it. Yeah. <laughs> Go back home, yeah. you. <laughs> but no, it was like on the signage of a, like a store yeah. or something. So I was like, oh, that just sounds racist. It does sound pretty racist. But uh, let me see. I don't. Dang. You know, it's crazy. If it's because I'm thinking about it. If you caught me just off guard and just was like, yo, give me some slurs. I'm like, ah. I just know them. I just pick them. I hear them and I go, that's crazy. And I just store it. You just I, store racial slurs in your yeah, brain? Yeah, I do what I accuse. <laughs> I accuse what I do. What do you I do what I accuse JJ of. Victim blamer, dude. I'm victim sorry. blamer. I am a victim blamer. He gets a lot of uh, racial hate. Yeah, I old, project. old JJ. Good, good old JJ. Yeah. Dang. Well, hell yeah. Tell dude. us what it's like school. to be oppressed. Man, it's hard, dude. It's hard. My entire life, all I wanted to do was just, you know, exist. But everybody's like, you're racist. You're racist. You're a white man. Well, you grew out a mullet. That's true. You did that. Out of, out of like, opposition, dude. That oh, was my. That was a form up. of agency, dude. Hairstyles okay. is a form of agency. Huge. Your mustache is racist. I don't know. Sure. Wyatt Earp. You, is Wyatt Earp? Yeah. It's a good Civil War mustache. True. I take that. Yeah. Which oh, side I'll, I'll take that. It look, yeah. uh, oh, you know what side. The, <laughs> Am I wearing one, gray? He's yeah, like, <laughs> you're the gray boy. He's like, the one that's already happened or the one that's yeah. about to happen? The one I'm about to start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just say you will look at me and go, that's a good piece of farming right there. <laughs> yeah, you His would, words, dude. not mine. Dude. <laughs> I love it. I'm also I'm the I'm even whiter than him. But I'm like, yeah, he's racist. You, you know what's yeah. funny? He's got a car heart. Yeah, yeah. you have car heart on right now. You know what's funny though? Huh. Uh, you too look like a Civil War soldier, but you look super bit. union. You look. Super oh, I'm union. leading them at least. You're leading them? I think so. You think you're leading the union? Oh no, I was talking about the Confederacy. But you said, oh, you said I'm a union. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> never mind. Wait, <laughs> but you just ultimately thought I was gonna put you on the bad side, and then you were like, you know what? I'm leading them. I'm going full on. I'm their Michael Jordan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yo, just set me and my boys loose. I want to shoot a movie. <laughs> it's Bryce shot in glorious bastard style. Oh except yeah. Except for it's the Civil War, and it's him and his Confederate soldiers. And yes. he's like, at the beginning of the movie, he's like, I need about thirteen Negroes right here. <laughs> I'm That's down. a job well done. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie, but it sounds good. God, he, Bryce has I've, never seen. I haven't seen any movies. For Inglorious him. Bastards is such a good so movie. Good. Yeah, excuse me. It's Quentin Tarantino. See, that's what sucks about not watching movies is that it just people can't even describe it. Yeah. Okay. Let me. So ask they just you. look I'm at me. Name five movies. They're all by the same director. Tell me which ones you've seen. Okay. Kill Bill Volume One. No. Kill Bill Volume Two. Okay. None of the Kill Bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. That's the end of the Kill Bill list. <laughs> Okay, and Glorious Bastards, we know. Pulp Fiction. I watched it with you guys. You watched it? We watched the whole thing of Pulp Fiction? Not the whole thing. Okay, so that's a you no. Show me some of it. <laughs> that's a no. Uh, what's another Quentin movie that's good? Django. Jackie Brown. Oh, I know he ain't watched Jackie Brown. <laughs> Django. Django. Oh, yeah, I've seen Django. You've seen Django? I've seen Django like a thousand times. All of the Isn't white that, boys have which seen Which is kind of racist. Yeah. You, you know what? It's only racist now knowing that you want to lead the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I haven't seen any movies, but Django he just goes a straight lot. To, he goes straight to Leonardo There's DiCaprio's something about, part. <laughs> something about this one. <laughs> the tree scene. It's just funny as hell. We're getting Bryce's true colors, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? And the colors are just white and whiter. <laughs> What colors do the Confederacy wear? Gray. They wore gray. They <laughs> said it so fast. <laughs> gray uniforms. <laughs> gray. He's a history buff. <laughs> True. History That's fan. major. <laughs> buff. <laughs> He's into it, I guess. <laughs> He's paying thousands of dollars to learn it. I'm on I got a scholarship. This is a show just full of soldiers, man. You got the Union soldier, the Confederate soldier, Hamas. <laughs> then there's me. Boko Haram. What are you, dude? I'm, I'm Call of Duty. That's, <laughs> I, that's the only kind of war this this body type is seeing, bro. You look good at it, though. I look good at Call of Duty? <laughs> I think so. You've never seen me play Call of Duty. We I feel like you would. Do become, you play Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, really? I'm ass, but yeah. Okay. Oh, we got to play because I play Warzone all the time, man. 
I'll play. Let me tell you. Okay, so if we're playing Warzone, I, one, I'm gonna suck really bad because my anxiety is up, and I'm usually playing Warzone <laughs> when I'm smoking. Yeah. So my paranoia is up. <laughs> That's a good I, thing though. I play with only hood niggas, so we're gonna be oh, good. Bro. They trash. Hold I on. just yell at them. Play, I'm about to yeah. say playing with hood niggas. If y'all white guys don't know, playing with hood niggas is one of the best things you could ever do at a video game because there's it's just screaming. The, you don't have fun playing the game. In fact, you might be completely ass at the game. But there's nothing like your friend will mess up. They'll just mess up. You're like, God, you suck, bro. You you a fucking asshole. Like you just be cursing them out. And then you will mess up. It could be equal or lesser. But if it's if it's slightly more, all you hear is, yo, use a bitch, bro. Just get off. Boo. Boo. See, I don't work well under that kind of pressure. Well, it's not even pressure. It doesn't matter. If I need positive well. reinforcement. The thing is, too, they're never going to stop playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to keep cursing at you. <laughs> it's fair. One time I had a buddy of mine. We were playing uh, Rocket League. You ever play that? Mm-hmm. Rocket League. If y'all never played Rocket League, it's car soccer. That's literally all it is. But And it sounds, it sounds easy. And theoretically, it is easy. But once you start to play it and you get the mechanics and the physics of the game, you realize how much of a challenge it actually is. And it's really exciting. We all suck. And I'm I'm just dogging my boy's brother, his twin brother. I'm just like, you piece of shit. You, you're a skid mark to society. Like, I'm just dogging his ass. And out of nowhere, he goes, I only wanted to impress you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> That's really sad. It was, but it was so funny. We still laugh about that, bro. He looked up to you. No, That's no. the saddest part. I don't know what. <laughs> Got Damn. his ass. Damn. Yeah, dude. Okay. Turn, the Civil War starts now. Get him, boys. <laughs> Kendrick, Kendrick, this is Drake. Bryce, this is sci-fi. Same day. <laughs> If y'all kidding. didn't know what day we recorded this, whatever day Kendrick Lamar <laughs> released that day, uh, Drake diss. I'm on a Oh, yeah. You don't know where? Yeah, I haven't heard of it. I've been at work all day. Dang. You know, oh, you can't listen to music at work. No. All I do is listen to music at work. All I do. Well, damn, dude. Yeah. I, I listen to some weird shit, too. You ever listen to Mongolian throat music? Yeah. The wing. It's gay again. I'm not going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not even going <laughs> to lie to you. The way, you, the way, as fast as you said, yeah, I was like, it's nigga lying. <laughs> uh, am I right though? You are 100 percent right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking they about. They just be on a mountain, like playing this like one string violin, and it's just this dude there. <laughs> he he kind of looks like um. Remember Mulan? <laughs> remember the dude who was catching a falcon, the bad guy with yeah. the curved sword. He had the like real edgy sword. They look like him. <laughs> they be dressed like that, be falconeers. One, that dude doesn't get enough respect. I don't know why. If you can catch a falcon on your arm, automatically top. That is pretty coolest sick. Person in the world. Like, because how much? What? What was like the training of that? Must have been a lot of falcon scratches to the face. Oh, bro, a For falcon sure. will fuck you up. Absolutely. So, yeah, you now you getting your ass whooped by a falcon, and yeah, they do this real thing. You ever seen? Um, you ever play like uh, Super Smash Brothers? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Captain Falco, mm-hmm. he has that falcon punch. Yeah. That's a real thing. Falcons will drop, like, dive or whatever, and then they'll ball up their claw and punch the shit out of something. Do you think that's what it was named after, or do you think his name is just Captain Falcon? Ah, his name is just Cap- Captain yeah, yeah. Falcon, but I know they that's pretty falcon punches though. are real. So do you, like, ride like ride out in your car to listen to Mongolian no, I, music? No, nah, I, I can. I That's mean, crazy. <laughs> I nah, just know what it is. No, nah, I'll listen to anything for real. I, uh, I'll listen to Dolly Parton today. You know, it's just whatever. It's just whatever my spirit calls upon. I listen to some gospel. Yeah, some '90s gospel, Dom. You know about that. You know about that. Some Mary Mary. Some Mary Mary. Come on, boy. Some DC talk. Some Hezekiah Walker. Hey, hey boy. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Yolanda Adams. Yo- oh, man. Ooh, Yolanda can sing now. Yeah, heck yeah! You know she like six foot. Is she? She tall, boy. Oh, she a big bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you can say shit. <laughs> what? She a lady of the Lord. You can't, yeah. you can't call her a bitch. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I know you are using it in a way like, oh, I. I oh, don't she. Know a, it. She I a mean. power forward. Yeah. I get what you're saying. No, yeah. no. She. she yeah. No, she is she like can... Angel Reese in some hills. <laughs> Yolanda Adams can back Satan down. In the Emphasis on the angel. <laughs> <man>. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna know nobody who I'm about to say, but can you imagine if we had like a 
like a um, a Space Jam full of gospel singers. <laughs> you got Yolanda Adams at the four. Shirley Caesar going to be at the one. Donnie McClurklin, he going to be at the guard. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Hezekiah Walker, he going to be in the paint. Well, Kurt Franklin got to be at the guard because he's like four foot five. He going to be on the other team. He going to be on the other team. <laughs> Him and uh, Shirley Caesar going to go at it. <laughs> Yeah, y'all don't know. Yeah, they, they have no idea. What they're like, about. man, they're just saying names. <laughs> if any black person who who grew up in church hears this, they're gonna be like, "Yo, them niggas ain't lying. That's a <laughs> hey, that's stacked. That's a holy roller of a team." Are there any gospel discs? Like, do they ever beef with one another? Do they have? I'm sure they do to some extent. To some extent, but they should release diss tracks to each other. That would be way more interesting, dude. It would be super good. Who was the preacher? He looked like the dude from uh, Star Trek with the uh, with the one with visor. The eyes, yeah. yeah, yeah, and he got outcasted by like TD Jakes and all them because he was like saying some stuff about. Damn, he was the most famous black preacher. He's short, got the glasses, looked just like him. Was it Creflo? Creflo? No, 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 no. Was hell no. Hell no. Hell no. 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 Okay. Not I, Creflo. I don't know. I I wasn't I wasn't really big in the TV preachers. They would just come on BT when I fell asleep watching Uncut. At 3 a.m. Is it gospel just for black people? No, no, no. Other people but, we, to well, but we do have our own. It's like Twitter. <laughs> there's gospel and then there's black gospel. Uh, and black gospel is way more fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> black gospel hell is yeah. so much more fun. <laughs> right. have you, so have you ever heard of Kurt Franklin? No. All right. What? Have you heard of DMX? <laughs> what? Have you, have you ever heard of DMX? Yeah. Okay. Imagine is the same guy? No, no, no. But same energy. <laughs> real, for real? Kirk Franklin, like, it'll be a good song, and all you, all you hear is, put your hands together! Like, he'll just be <laughs> screaming shit. <laughs> I'll check that out. He's he's like a... You remember the rapper Plies? Mm-hmm. He looks like Plies, mm-hmm. but he's like five foot two, and he wears like little suits and vests and bow Damn. ties, and he has DMX energy. Dude. It's amazing. Short black guys can really fucking sing. You think so? I believe so. Yeah, rap. Most rap. Yeah, I, yeah, for really? real. Yeah, like Kodak Black. Oh, well, yeah, I, don't know if, I don't know if he's like the best rapper. But example, if you look at like DMX was like five two. DMX was not no five two. He was look short, how, bro. How tall he was DMX short. was short. Hold on, hold on. What? Hold on. What the? <laughs> Did they see this? Yeah, that's what, Clown what College exclusive information. <laughs> that's a Frisian hair. horse, dude. It's in, uh, imported from the Netherlands, dude. aka Holland, aka the Dutch people, dude. Fuck King Leopold. So that's oh, what's yeah. on Clown College this week. 5'11", <laughs> Five eleven. Five eleven. Oh damn. Five, two, Hold on. DMX was not no fucking five eleven. That's what it Have says you ever right met here. DMX. DMX was not. I, look, I'm telling you, DMX was not no fucking five eleven. Okay, go to the you images. Crazy. Go to the images real five quick. Five foot ten is going down. Wait. <laughs> you think it's going to go the, down? No, the next one said five foot ten. Who is that? He's next to. Ice Cube, man. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> See, stop asking. Me. Yeah, guess. Let's Cube, hear some more maybe? guesses. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Next to Kendrick and him over there. Yeah, give me give me somebody. They're the same height as Kendrick. How tall is Kendrick? Kendrick? Look, that motherfucker short as shit. True. He's taller than kids. That's crazy that they said he was 5'11". He's 5'11". Those are children. Those are children. Those are children and they're to his shoulders. I think one of them is a free team. <laughs> Yo, we have a This is very helpful. Size okay, he's a little That's bit taller than Wine. Wadlow, the tallest man ever, dude. Okay. Why do you know his name? <laughs> I'm so sick of this guy bro, already. <laughs> Bring Dom back. He knows everything. <laughs> is is Robert Tyrese? Wadlow? Is that Tyrese? Yeah, who's a little, little person <laughs> no, on the just, left? Now they're just showing dark black dude. <laughs> it's just, he just owns child support. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's a palindrome, though. Yeah, do that to him. Oh, wait, they are talking about him on child support? Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. Bruh, nah, they be on Tyrese's ass with this child support. <laughs> Tyrese, Tyrese was going through it for a minute with that child support shit. Shit. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen that? No. Oh, damn. Oh, pull up, Tyrese. Uh, Congratulations. It's, it's sad. It's sad, bro. Make it make it large screen though. It's this man went through it, bro. But okay. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people know they're about to cry, <laughs> and they set up a camera to record themselves cry. <laughs> that is pretty wild. I don't feel I don't feel sorry for you at all. All right. Let's see. Five seconds, perfect. Oh, it was only five seconds? Uh, the, That's a good thing. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's like, all right, that was pretty good. I'm going to post it. <laughs> now, there's a, the, at the beginning of the video, he was like, 
I forgot how much money he's paying in child support each week, month. Yeah. But he was like, what more do you want from me? And it was like, bro, get off the internet, please. Nobody's going to feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> no, some people was feeling bad. Oh, the people who owe child support. Yeah. <laughs> people who related. <laughs> bro, you <laughs> know what's funny? It. I do love, like, uh, whenever celebrities, like, break d- divorce or whatever. Uh-huh. However much money the dude has to pay the woman in child support, it's always fun going to the comments and seeing the niggas who have to pay child Every support. Every time, bro. Because like, I love as, that I'm, shit. as I'm listening to it, I'm just scrolling, scrolling through. And they'll just be like, bro, the, ch- the courts are rigged for these women, bro. They do not want black men to succeed yeah. with their kids. And I was, I'll just be like, what is this guy? What do you got to do with yeah. Kanye West having to pay Kim? Five hundred, like five hundred. <laughs> They're trying to month. relate to the number. Yeah, and he's like, that don't, it don't, that, you don't need all that. They don't need that. You don't need that to raise a kid, which I don't think you do. But I don't care how much they are charging some rich asshole to take care yeah, of it. It is kids. wild. I really do not yeah. care. It is insane to like go and be like, this kid doesn't need that much food. It's like it's your kid, <laughs> bro. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Okay. I think ninety nine point nine percent of the world can all agree. That it does not cost five hundred thousand dollars to raise a child in America. A month, five hundred thousand dollars a month. A month. A month. That's what Kanye has to pay. Kim. Never mind. I'm okay. back on board. I'm, I switch <laughs> teams, bro. But hold on. The fact that we can all agree that means that somewhere on that spectrum, there's a guy who's like, bro, it don't, it don't fucking cost fifty bucks a month <laughs> to raise this little. Oh, bastard. for sure. At the, you know at the end of it, there's oh, a yeah. dude. I got five niggas like that right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, right for now. Sure. Sure, Glendale, bro. where you at, baby? Yo, he's <laughs> saying names. Hell no. Nah. This nigga don't got the internet. <laughs> he can't afford it, bro. His kids got the internet. Yeah. Did you see, uh, I want to say it was like a fan duel or something like that. This dude, look that up for me, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> J. Jamie, bro. <laughs> this, this dude on I love fan that. Duel, he, um... <laughs> J. Jamie, yeah, he, Jay Jamie. Hates, he hates a lot of this, I feel like. He loves it. He loves it. You're my guy. I love you. Yeah, we love oh, you, dude. This guy on FanDuel, he won some bet, and when he tried to get his uh, his uh, winnings, yeah. they were like, hey, we had to give some to your child support. <laughs> like, he didn't oh, even get the Oh, yeah, I just saw that. Oh, damn. Oh, man, this is not looking cute now. All right. What does it say? I can't read. My eyes are shut. FanDuel users claim their winnings on the gambling platform were intercepted to pay for a child support debt has spurred a debate on social media. Lord Jesus, they got me. (laughs) Is that what he said? (laughs) (laughs) Lord Jesus. (laughs) They got me. He's talking to God. He's the one who abandoned his kid. Is that the amount they took out? I can't read. Dang, how much did he 1500, win? 1500 bro. Mm-hmm. How much did he win, does that? I can't find uh, it. They debited 1500 to to uh, his baby Is mama. that much he was owing? That means he owed 1500 if yeah. they did that? Damn, that's a lot to owe. I ain't going to lie to you, though. Like, I want to be like, yeah, that's not cool. It's my money. But if you owe child support, you shouldn't be out here gambling like that, dog. Yeah, bro. You owe these kids money, and you like, Damn. Hold on. Let me put 50 on my homes. <laughs> Three touchdowns. <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Uh, JJ, look at Dom. All right. I, um, you ever gambled? You a big gambler? Dude, I've only gambled the very small things, and I've lost every time. <laughs> so I think it's a sign not to do it. I really want to go to Vegas. Like, I want to I wanna have like a weekend or something or a week where I go to Vegas and I just have activities. You know what I'm saying? Just activities. Mm-hmm. And then I have $300 set to the side. And by activities, I'm $300. Going with, yeah, and I'm just going to gamble to $300. And once That's that, where it starts, though. No, 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 no. I'm only taking $300 for this. Like, when I'm saying activities, I mean stuff that's like, we're going out to ride dirt bikes in the desert. You know what I'm saying? We go to a show. I'm using shit where it's like, this is already pre-played out. Oh, we're going to the casino tonight? All I need is my ID, my key to the room, my phone, and this $300 fucking dollars. That's how you do it, for real. And once that's up, that's up. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the only way you can gamble or you will go spend way more I did. Money. I went to Tunica, I think, one time. Uh-huh. That shit was wild. My buddy, he ended up like going up $3,000, mm-hmm. and then he lost all of it. 
Damn. And then he had to like pull out six thousand dollars or whatever <gasps> to go back, and he, and he evened out luckily. And then we left. But we were in there till like fucking four o'clock in the morning, oh, bro. And oh. I had and I had I brought no I brought like a hundred dollars to spend. Yeah. Oh, so I was I out immediately. Yeah. I lost and immediately. So I was just hanging out. And they don't like that that much. I had my cousin. So I got this weird story, bro. My cousin. Uh he takes me to the casino with him, right? Now, yeah. My cousin is paralyzed from the uh like the waist down. Hmm. So he really loves when I come into town. Because, you know, I'm a big dude, so when I'm pushing him around, he feel like a celebrity. He feel like he got, you know, security with him or something. So he goes, we're going to the casino. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not gambling. I have no money, right? I'm broke. We went out. We did all this other stuff. I have no money. But I'm like, I'm just going to come because you're going. He goes, all right, cool. We get to the casino. My cousin goes to these slot machines or whatever. And he goes, all right, I'm just going to play these for a while. I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Electronic slot machines are like the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It just seems like you're just throwing money away. My cousin comes to me. And he goes, all right, I got this thing for $300. Go get me these chips. So I'm like, dang, this dude's pretty good. So I go and I get him these chips. I go and I get him the chips. And he goes, cool, we're going to blackjack now. So my cousin's playing blackjack. And I'm sitting in the back. I'm sitting at another table just chilling. And he goes, uh, he was like, hey, he did like this, brings me over. I was like, what's up? He goes, this is 340 something dollars. Tell the bitch I want all fresh hundreds. And tell her just like that, say, bitch, bop one all fresh <laughs> hundreds. What? And I was like, what? <laughs> we ain't at no like, we ain't at like no shitty casino. We're at the MGM in Detroit, right? This is a professional casino. So I go up to the window. And I look back at my cousin, and I look at her, and I go, bitch, <laughs> bop one all fresh 100s. And this lady goes, all right, bop. <laughs> like, he, like, she knew him. <laughs> like, she knew that that's what he was going to ask, right? So I go back. I give him the money. He gives me 100. I was like, all right, cool. He tell me go get him a drink. I go get him a drink. By the time I come back with a drink, he's handing me another uh, thing of chips. He's like, go turn these in. It's like 1500 I give him back the cash. He gave me a hundred. We keep doing this. This man gave me ended up giving me five hundred dollars by the end of the night. And he was like, "You want to gamble it?" I was like, "Fuck no! You crazy nigga! I ain't have to do shit for this. Put it in my pocket." I just gotta cuss a lady out. Yeah, I had, <laughs> to, cuss a, I had to cuss a, one lady Hell out yeah. and go get fucking drinks. While I'm talking to my cousin, like, man, you really good at blackjack. My cousin is like street dude, straight street dude, right? He starts talking to me, and he goes, yeah, when I was shot in the hospital, I read this book, and it was about these, like, Harvard kids. And what they would do is <laughs> a car, a deck of cards only got, like, 53 uh, cards in it. And he starts telling me how to fucking count cards. He doesn't know, like, I'm sitting there like, dog, you know how you got to be kind of smart. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to. Yeah, you can't just. You can't be no dumbass. He like, nah, this shit easy. And so I'm like, no, it's not. He starts showing me uh, fucking pictures of him. He got banned from one casino because he won like a hundred and something thousand dollars. And he was like, anybody can do it. I was like, no, they can't, bro. <laughs> so many people. No, nah, I don't think do I could figure shit. that out. He was like, man, you just got to sit there, keep remembering the shit. You got it after a while. I was like, it don't work like that for the rest of us, Playboy. It don't. He's like, what are they? <laughs> Is you, you, you cool with this guy? He's your cousin, right? Yeah. Okay. He's like, what are they going to do? Hit me in the knees with a bat. He's <laughs> like, I'm good, bro. He's <laughs> like, I'm fine. Uh, dude, one, time, one time he pissed me off so bad because he, he talks shit. And uh, he, he, a, he a little fly, fresh motherfucker. Always got to have the new shit on. I, I went to go see him. I see him probably like once every five years, Max. Like, it's crazy. I go see him. And, you know, when you don't see your cousin in a while, you're like, hey, what up, nigga? He's like... Hey man, look at your shoes. They dusty as shit, boy. I keep mine clean. I'm like, they don't touch the <laughs> fucking ground. Of course you keep them clean, you asshole. What a flex, dude. Yeah, like he be flexing shit like that. And then he, or he'll be like, dude, it was one time he was like, he said, uh, he was like, hey, I gotta get some new shoes. Uh, I can't feel my feet, so uh, I gotta get a bigger size because I can't tell him like I'm tying them too tight. I was like, oh, okay. He was like. I'm just going to give all my own ones to you. I know you might need them. Now, there was a part of me that was going to be like, 
Yo, fuck you. Yeah, that sucks. But all of these shoes were like new. Like, imagine just putting a foot in there. There's no f- wiggling of the toes. It's pretty much like having the mannequin stuffing at a foot True, line. true. Oh, man, I took all them goddamn shoes, bro. I had Nike Dunks that were like Brazil. Like, they were the Brazilian flag colors, and then uh, they had the Brazilian flag, like, emblem on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got some fly knit Nikes. Like, they they look like Air Force Ones, but they're knitted instead of having, like, leather on them. That's cool. Bro. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I hope he got to go up in another shoe size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rack up. That is All right, wild. what's these videos you got for us? Yeah, JJ, show us. Show, I gotta, show me a video. I got a good assortment, dude. He's got a plethora of no, videos. No, uh, minimize. Oh, okay. All right, the first one's a classic, dude. First one's an absolute classic. We must stop the terror. 43. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know I never seen that. Uh, that's fucking I hilarious. That Let me tell you something. Now watch this. Let me tell you something. That's back when America was swinging dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's when you you like look. I got the biggest dick in the room. I'm about to just say some shit. Watch this, motherfucker. Imagine somebody going, Bryce. I know somebody fucked with you. I'm gonna blow their goddamn heads off today. Yeah. Watch me shoot, drain this three point. Yeah. Just, just switch it. You would instantly go, this is oh, the coldest yeah, motherfucker dude. on earth. Today's his day. Dude, white, like, Republican dad saw that and got hard. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> bro. That first air, oh. Uh. Yo, is this Pete Weber? Uh, this is less about the actual bowler. It's uh, a unique bowling animation. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry, were you about to say something? No. Oh, okay. yeah. You want to see this? I do, but I just want y'all to know Pete Weber, phenomenal bowler. Top three favorite athletes of all time. I don't know shit about bowling. I don't know his stats. But I know two things happen. Since You know what? Since we're talking about George Bush quote, that George Bush quote, awesome. But look up Pete Weber's quote. He's that one bowler guy who mm-hmm. was like, he got a strike. And was oh, like, I'm familiar with him. Who do you think you are? I am. Mm-hmm. But the coldest quote he ever had was at his like last pro bowling uh, tournament mm-hmm. or whatever. They're interviewing him, and they go... Uh, is there anything you want to say to your fans, you know, or your, like, you know, your critics, whatever? And he's like, yeah. He goes, <laughs> cold as shit ever. He goes, love me or hated me. Love me or hate me. You watched. Yeah. It's all you could do. Walks That's off, so tough. Walks bro. off. Strike. I swear to God. I was like, this is some John Wick shit. That's tight as fuck. But- Coldest. Bowling is lame. It is. Oh, <laughs> it's the only problem with that. It's lame as shit, but I just want you to know, if I was at a bowling alley, I would have choked on my mozzarella stick watching that shit, bro. <laughs> True. It was the coldest. That's a cold white man. I'm sorry. Pete Weber, bro. <laughs> it's, that's a cold white man. He's like, there's nobody competing in the Nobody's sport, Nobody's competing, bro. <laughs> it's the only you, issue. You can't compete where you don't compare, all right? <laughs> you can't compete with Pete. <laughs> just white white dudes named Pete. Yo, white Pete dudes Maravich, named Pete. Pete Rose, Pete mm-hmm. Weber. True. You either a fucking simpleton or you a bad motherfucker. Yeah, because they named Pete. you because they named you Peter. He's like, nah, I'm Pete. Nah, Pete, make it faster. <laughs> make it yeah. hard. make it easier. Yeah, <laughs> Pete, Pete. Is he? Well, can you look up his ranking? Like, is there is that a thing for them? Uh, yeah, but he's gonna. Or they just play for nachos or whatever. They put jalapenos on mine. That means I won. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the champion jalapeno. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is he number one? Yeah. Fuck it. 37 Pete career Weber. titles, 10 major championships. Okay. He's Hold the on, guy, bro. Some fucking respect. 37 career titles, 10 major championships, 6 PBA. <laughs> 50 <laughs> titles? What the fuck is a PBA 50 title? Don't throw two Six numbers PBA in 50 it. titles? Yeah, that makes. Okay. Oh, pro- Professional Bowler Association 50. Right. So he had to be 50 and up, I guess. No. I think it's think the it's top age? 50 bowlers. Maybe. And they compete. Yeah, and he's I, th- I think compete. Uh, oh, is compete. that what his name is? Pete. Yeah, oh, exactly. Dude. You can't compete without Pete. My name and is Pete. It, I'm Pete. <laughs> it oh, says when it on. comes Number to Pete two. Weber, one must first look at his longevity. He's the LeBron. He's the LeBron. Oh, no. He doesn't got nothing else to do. On. The top three bowlers have the whitest names ever. There's Pete Weber, 
Walter Ray Williams Jr. <laughs> He's also putting out a country album. <laughs> yeah, Yo, for sure. Walter Ray Williams Jr. Walter Ray really. I can't even say it. <laughs> Walter Ray Williams. It's tough. It's, it's too white. My melanin Norm. is tumbling. Oh, bro. Walter Ray Williams Jr. Top 50 hits. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Baby, I'm missing you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bowling for love. <laughs> Striking out at yeah. last. <laughs> like, yeah. Spare me. Yeah, spare, spare me. I love it. I love it. Earl Anthony is number four. And Norm Duke. And, and Mark, Mark Roth. Roth. Is that Ooh. the dude who did that uh, Macklemore album? <laughs> Something like that. Asher Roth. No. No. That's, no. Uh, that, co- that's, that's, that's the college. college. Yeah. Hey. I go crazy. Yeah. He was not top 50, though. So. He was not. He was not. So. All right, what's the next vid? Uh, this is a really cool bowling animation. Okay. Play on it. Oh. Come on. I've seen this one. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Yo! No, I haven't. Nine out of ten. Yo! Uh, <laughs> that's sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's sick. Bro, <laughs> okay, I will say this. That is sick. That's wild as shit. That's wild as hell. <laughs> but whoever be coming up with those bowling animations, to me, it's always some like LSD oh, yeah. fried Vietnam vet who's just got like a degree in animation. Yeah, 910, 911. <laughs> Justin Redlow. <laughs> it all points back to the truth. Yeah. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so. I love those it. are great. Those are really great. Oh man, I, it, you know what's weird? It almost just naturally made me want to take that turn and go, man, that's crazy. Where were you during 9-11? <laughs> first grade, I believe. <laughs> I believe. Maybe I was in. Maybe I was involved, but I think I was in first grade. He said maybe I was involved. I don't know. Dom, I want you to say that now. Can we get you on camera saying that? Nah, dude, it's suspicious. Uh, it's hella suspicious, but I want to have something I can hold over him. Yeah, go ahead. I tell that's one of my jokes, you know. I planned nine eleven. <laughs> True. I wasn't in it. He just but you know, oh, he just planned it. Because of the oil. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dick Cheney came up to me and said we need to get the oil, so Ooh. might as well bomb a yeah. tower too. Oh, you know what? Let's go back to talking about America's big dick energy. Okay. And you can't talk about a bigger dick without talking about Dick Cheney. True. Dick Cheney shot somebody in the Blasted face. Blasted a guy, bro. In the face at point blank range. And then that man and his family got on TV and said we're sorry for the stress that this might have caused Dick The Jay. stress of not having an eyeballs. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine shooting somebody and their wife and kids are on TV and they're all like, we're sorry that you shot me. <laughs> and that this is We didn't understand well. that that was a bummer of some kind right. and we're, we apologize. There's a movie apparently where uh, it talks about Dick Cheney being like the real mastermind. And he was like, Ah, we're just going to let Bush think he's running shit. Oh, I've seen that movie, actually. Have you? For you, some reason. I, have, I, I mean, that's know. not a movie. That's just history. That's Is what, it? That's what happened. I just thought that was somebody's <laughs> take on it. Bush not, was... I mean, Bush was almost retarded. You know? <laughs> I mean, but, and really... <laughs> he, can, he can fly jets. He can hit a golf good, ball. He can, hey, he can hit the shit up. He can ball. hit a golf ball. He can hit a golf ball. You know he's been partying his whole goddamn life, oh, too, God, bro. He on he's been so living, bro. You know what's really funny? Um... Uh, Will Ferrell had a one, not a one man show, but it was pretty much like a one man show where he played uh, George W. Bush. Mm-hmm. And he talks about, like, he sets up this whole thing where the whole Bush family gets stuck in, like, a cave and, like, Mama Bush has to come save them. Mm-hmm. And it's super disgusting because he describes, like, her sweaty thighs, like, Ugh. lifting rocks. It's disgusting. But at one point, they go, and, like, the family turns on George and the dad goes, why are you the only one with the Texas accent? George Bush isn't from the South. Is he not? Where's George Bush born? He was like born in Connecticut or something. And then he was like raised, I think, in New York. I think that's Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> H is the dad, right? Yeah. Well, no, no. Just go to his Wikipedia. I want to see, I want to see everything about him. New Haven, Damn. Connecticut. Uh huh. New Haven, that, Connecticut. Just, why does he have such a strong Texas accent? <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. He was raised in Midland in Houston, Texas. That's why. Oh, yeah. I don't give a damn. You born in Connecticut? Well, we'll you can't oh, he's get born no in there. Yeah. Probably doing some president shit. 
I get Probably. it. Probably. That makes sense. Probably. Uh, what's, what the hell is this? This is some really like high concept comedy video. Okay. If you'd like to see it. I would like oh, to see sure. it. Sure, if, if you can handle it. Yeah, I can <laughs> handle it. Oh! Oh! What, what the, the hell, bro? This that shit. It melt, bro. What the <laughs> hell? Let me tell you something. Okay, two things. One, I already know where this bullshit about to go. <laughs> you gonna be mad at the end of this? Hell yeah. Two. That was some real white people shit. <laughs> One to have a pet raccoon is insane. That, is that was ogre. <laughs> to have a pet raccoon. Jumping over your like open leg. Wound? I don't know if he's a pet raccoon or if you just can't stop him anymore because he's <laughs> drunk and he has his legs broken. <laughs> he's like they overtook me. Can you imagine getting bullied by a raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> like goddamn that little bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, he got me again. <laughs> well, I want to see this vi- next video now that I'm going to be mad. This guy, oh, sure. he's a uh, sex positive influencer. Yeah. I'm naked with my kids. I have sex in front of my kids. I'll never be ashamed of sex. My son be breastfeeding and I'll be making love to his mom. Can you pause it right there? There is no reason (laughs) to get deep. (laughs) You letting us know you deep stroking while your son is breastfeeding. He's outside. (laughs) Yeah. Whatever whatever farm in Georgia this dude is living on, CPS needs to come get them kids. Immediately. Does he have a shell on or like a puka shell necklace? Uh, dudes who talk like that usually do. Yeah, bro. That's usually a fucking do. necklace for sure. Bro, to do, I can never, to do this motion, to let us know you going in and it's say the word yo kids in yeah. the same sentence, uh uh-uh, uh, can't do it. She sounds like a busy it. woman, dude. That's a lot to do at one time. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's only acceptable like in caveman days <laughs> where it was like, hey. I might die in five. We need minutes. to have about fifty of these kids to yeah. defend us <laughs> as an army. You know yeah. we gotta populate the rest of this region. Yeah. Let's, let's go. <laughs> oh, it God. only gets worse from here. Oh, Jesus. oh there's more? Yeah. That's how I get down around kids. I try to keep their purity. I don't want to take their purity away by covering myself up. They're going to be ashamed and cover they self up. And yeah. I'm pure at heart. So you can think in your mind, if I let another kid here, I'm going to have to change the way I am so that your kid could be comfortable around me. No, I'm going to be naked as fuck in front of your kids. My son comes up and grabs my penis. Shoot him. I let Shoot him. him grab my penis. I had sex with his mom. I'm making love to his mother. Deep After stroking. I'm done, I'm laying there chilling. He grabbed my penis. <laughs> he's playing with my penis. I let that happen. <laughs> yo, I yo! I did not stop it. I let that happen. Yo, yo, dude. That is gonna be played in court. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is Didn't, a testimony. That is. I'm pretty sure he got arrested. First of all, lock this nigga up forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Forever. Okay. Yo, this Dan, anybody this, who says some shit like that, I think he, I think DC. Dan can't Schneider take is too. using a black man as a fucking avatar. Yeah, That's bro. the weirdest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. He's. This is what he admits to. Yeah. This is what he talks about. He said he gets done having not sex, doing. and then the kid comes up and grabs his dick. What are you saying? <laughs> You know what? You know what's insane? It's not that it's like, he, it's he's you the word the way you use the word admit. He's admitting to yeah, me. Yeah, dude. It's not like he's casual. Like, yeah, you know, sometimes I do this. this <laughs> like is, he's looking dead at the camera. He does not want his lawyer to be able to work with anything. <laughs> and he had so much passion talking exactly. about it. If he if you, he were to corner me at the bar talking about it, I'd be like, yeah, dude, that's probably that's kind of normal. And I like how at it's least in the normal. back of your head, you're like, you know what? It's your kids, your family, I ain't doing it. He's like, I'm going to let your kids see my <laughs> penis. You're like, what? Why? What is your problem? Look at all these dirt bikes we got exactly. in the back. Yeah. You see this land? Yeah, look how fun it is. <laughs> Damn, back to my bro. Penis. You know what's crazy? You can't tell if he's wearing clothes in that video. His yeah, exactly. From the waist up, his dick could be out. I'm recording with this. I call myself my a stick. son is holding the phone <laughs> as my penis. Is out. He's recording this video. He's 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say whoa. Uh, makes it worse somehow. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. that is true. It does. That is weird that it makes it worse. But. Yeah. Oh God, if you're. Can you imagine somebody's like, yo, you want to come over to my house? My dad be walking around naked. He's a little like, weird. He's a little weird. And we like 19. I'm like, no. <laughs> naked? No, nah, bro. I might see your dad's joint. 
He's like, oh, way more than that. <laughs> You're gonna see his moves. Yeah. He goes deep. Yeah, when he goes deep, he's gonna let you. He, he's gonna give you a lecture about how <laughs> pure it is to walk around naked, and don't let nothing ruin your purity. Nothing at all, even deep strokes. And he has no idea what the word purity means. <laughs> you know what the weird part is too. At some point, you be like, "Yeah, Dad." He know. He's like, "No, tell him. Tell him I used to grab my penis after I would get done having sex with your mom." <laughs> It, oh yeah, and it, his dad gets older over time. <laughs> you want to touch on this? Hell no. Pass to we gotta. He said pass it to him. Pass it to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This this last video is like a. Uh, it's it's just an interesting thing you can get at a, at a bar. Some real white people shit, man. I love it. Oh. Uh, mm. Oh, what the fuck? Happy as shit too. So happy as hell. I don't get shit like that. Like, I'm all down for a good time, but not everything's a good time. That's there's no way. Getting wet is a day ruiner, bro. My shirt gets wet, bro. Over with. That's what you got the problem with. Yeah, what did you got? I have a problem with you spitting anything into my mouth. Oh, true. That's problem number one. (laughs) That is kind of wild. That's my shirt. Problem number two. Is then the amount of water. Like, if you would have, like, did, like, a spritz or something, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> you get, like, like, a little, something like you would discipline. A little a, bit of water. Like, something you would discipline a cat with. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. no. you give me one of those, okay, that's too damn much. And then the slap. The slap is insane. I thought it was just going to be one. She came back down, and that dude that was on the far right, she hit him with a combo. Oh, yeah. That was coming back for a uh, freaking Seamus over there, but he dodged it. <laughs> the, the slap I like. You like the slap? You I'm down. Freak. I'm down with the slap. Should I do race play for you? No, 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 no. <laughs> she said it and slapped. Oh want, god! I just want you to know, I sh- I shared that video of you talking about race play <laughs> <laughs> on my Instagram story, and I just had people going, "What the fuck is wrong with this nigga?" <laughs> Uh, I was like, that's just dumb, bro. Hey, hey, People was really t- like, first of all, tell them niggas to try it out first for, yeah, before true. they talking about it's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Yeah. I got a video I can still do. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a good one, actually. Yeah. She hits all the words. Yeah. You heard A B D B or whatever you guys are talking about? R S D B, baby. R S D B. Speaking of racial slurs, and uh-huh. y'all can yeah, we're back to it. Yeah, it all always comes full circle. <laughs> Did you um you ever notice how, like, in real, real Southern movies, like, super racist Southern movies, they never say the word nigger. It's always nigger. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like, that's when you know you're dealing with a real racist. If they say nigger, it's like, mm-mm, that's from the tap. You, <laughs> you, know, you know your history. One thousand percent. Man. I can't really talk. <laughs> I was like, what can I say? Hmm, what is safe for me to say? JJ, pull up the video. <laughs> Man, this has been on my mind. Can I tell y'all the best compliment I've ever received? Sure. I was. <laughs> He's like, okay, that's just far left. Is it, gonna... <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with Negro, <laughs> but it does involve an old white man. Okay. Bro, this one time I was. Uh, I was backing this huge truck. I was it was at work, and I'm backing this huge truck into this dude's uh, driveway, and his driveway kind of snakes. Now, on one on the left hand side, the driver's side, it's like this wall of bushes. Like you can tell, he spends a lot of money on his bushes. On the right hand side, it's his house, and there's about that much space between my truck and his porch. And he has this big wraparound porch, so I'm just super focused backing this thing up. Every single time it turned, adjusting the wheel, and it's going good, it's going good. I look out my corner of my eye, he's on the porch, and he's watching me. And I'm like, this dude really just waiting for me to fuck his shit up. But I'm like, all right, I'm not going to let him get in my head, whatever. Backing it up, backing it up. This guy's like 80-something years old. Mm, shameless. The, yeah, so the, the way he's staring to I'm like, he's just going to complain about something. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, I ain't touching shit. The second he complains, I'm just going to be like, look, dude, no. Get your shit. Let's go. As I'm backing it up, I finally get to the end, and I put it in part. And when I looked up at him, this old man had his face in, like, pure joy. And he looks at me, and he goes, son, you driving the hell out that truck. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and mind you, he did not have a southern accent at all when talking to him. Oh, for sure. But when he shouted that shit out, it came out. <laughs> and I was like, 
I re- you respect me as a man now. That you is some very manly shit. That's it's like survival tactics shit. almost. Yeah. Like apocalypse, dude. You're the driver. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you're getting for us through sure. all the rocks. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, for, for sure. sure. I think. Uh, I think there's always some man somewhere in your life that you see, like I'm a grown man, and then you see this other dude, and you go, "That's a grown ass man. Uh-huh. I ain't doing shit." You're that grown man to me. No, I'm me? kidding. No, oh, I thanks, just want to end on a gay note. But that's our time. Is that the end of the episode? The of is that what episode. you keep signaling at me for? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, getting he's lost. Let, he's letting you know. Right now, this means <laughs> keep going. I don't pay attention to that shit, <laughs> yeah. dude. I run the light. I don't care about things like that. I thought you were telling me to steal home or something. <laughs> steal like, home. what do you want? Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah, there you that go. might work better. That might. Well, I see. I see the. Uh, well, damn, bro. I was gonna say Martin. I want to record King. a second one, bro. Nah, but Round only, two, bro. Round two. Hey. Well, that was it. Well, damn. Sci-fi and Bryce. Sci-fi and Bryce show. That was it. We done. We out of here. We're, we're going to come back, though, next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and stuff. You're, you're we out.